All right, so now, before I actually fill out the mission and, and make this an official uh, seed suppression uh, 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 thing, let's go ahead and fly this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, Mission Generator, right? Mm, no, you don't want to click on Mission Generator because that's going to create a whole new mission. Uh, where is fly it? it from the Mission Editor on the left side of your uh, screen. There's that green check mark right. underneath where the column says Fly mission. Miss. Okay, cool. Or it says OBJ. So I clicked on that and blah, 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 that'll blah. give you a briefing window. You right. click OK or fly. Then we're going to hit start. It. All right, so it's doing its thing. So what we're going to do is after the interface comes up, I'm going to switch to the map view, put it over Kute Isi, and then speed up the passage of time. Or you can always switch between the aircraft themselves so you can watch them do their work. By default, F2 will cycle through the aircraft. F7 will cycle through any ground vehicles. So that includes your SAM sites if you want to watch them get blown up. Okay, now this thing uh, flies out in real time. So obviously it's going to take them in taxi, climb, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I so don't want to do that right now. That. So what we can do is once it loads up, we can go ahead and cycle through uh, the friendly forces and cycle through the enemy forces to see what it is we did. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back to the map view and speed up passage of time. How's that? Right, that'll work. All right. Now, what we just did was essentially configured an application generator. Uh, for the folks out there who doesn't know, an application generator is a graphically, uh, graphical user interface where you you know, poke and configure and this and that, then you click a button and then it spits out a whole bunch of code and then the code goes into an engine that executes it. My experience as a software developer is that kind of shit never ever works the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 100% sure. I'm laughing sure. because he's absolutely true. <laughs> I'm 100% sure this will not run as planned the first time. When I was at EDS, we used this program. It's a, it's a French application called PackBase and it was a very cryptic language. I don't know how the hell I learned that. But anyway, you write your programs in PackBase, then it generates COBOL, and then it kicks off the COBOL compiler that compiles and then it runs. And PackBase is supposed to be an application generator. But anyway, it's kind of sort of the same principle. So I'm in my A10 here. I'm going to go ahead and click fly. Mm -hmm. All right. It's sitting here. And it just occurred to me I don't have my Scitec I have nothing configured. Uh, no, my hat not, switch... You're not planning on flying. You're just flying on... Right. My hat yeah. switch still works. I'm looking around. I don't see my F-16s. Let me see. Where the hell are they? They should have been parked right next to you. No, there's an A-10 parked next to me. That's my uh, my wingman. Mm, just beyond the A-10? Uh, hang on. I can't, I can't see over there. I hear some engines starting up. That's probably them, then. That's probably them. Uh, I should see them taxi in front of me, right? Yeah, when you zoomed all the way into Kutaisi on the mission editor page, you right. should have had four aircraft side by side. Let me go to F10 and find Kutaisi. Where is it? You can always uh, use the me shortcut and it'll center right over you. Me. There we go. And zoom in. And I should see the aircraft rolling. And I do see an F moving. So let's go back to F1. Yeah, and there is the F16 there. There he goes. And that's one F-16. What about the other one? Okay, there goes the second one. Uh, I like that paint scheme. That is pretty cool. That's why I picked it. <laughs> All right, so hitting F-2 cycles through the good guys. It'll cycle through everything that's aviation related. Right. So right now, you only have good guys in the air. If you had uh, Russian jets, after you're done with the friendlies, it'll cycle through the enemies as well. All right, so F-2, there goes the good guys. They are rolling. They're looking good. All right, so go back to my screen, and I'm not doing anything to sit here with my wingman. All mm -hmm. right, so to cycle through the bad guys, F7. F7 will cycle through any ground vehicle, and since you only have enemy ground vehicles, it will start most likely with the number one vehicle, which should be our command and control. There he is right there. Now, if you zoom out and move his camera around, you should see that power station. Because uh, remember, we put it really close to it. So, yep, there's a power station right there. That's where it is. So and that's your target, and you can see where the other guys are placed all over the place. And I can tell you that is a gas-fired power station. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gas-fired power station. It's not a coal-fired. <laughs> it's hey, not well, nuclear. Certainly, I'm not in charge of the art and design with uh, Eagle. Nah, Pack, so uh, we get what we get. <laughs> we get what we get. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hit F10 again. I'm sorry, F7 again. Yeah. And there is the book. That's that's why I shot down one of those Malaysia, the Malaysian aircraft uh -huh. flying over Ukraine. It was one of these. Yeah, and those the way, things are vicious. The way the CIA knew was the spy satellite took a picture of it while it was in transit, and one of the missiles was missing. Mm hmm So, right. yeah. Oh, you can't miss those guys. When those are coming up at you, yeah, you'll see a smoke plume a mile long. All right. And there's, we put down three of them. So that's one. Hit F7 again. That's two. And then and the other one should be again. wherever you put it, on the other side of the lake. All right. And there he is right there on the other side of the lake. Well, they're, they're not that far apart. They uh, really aren't. As long as their uh, circles are concentric, they're all within each side, inside of each other, right. they've got pretty good coverage. Well, you could set these guys like about a couple of miles apart. Like if you were defending an airport, you could literally put one on one side of the airport, one on the other side of the airport, and you've got that whole thing covered. Right. I've used that before in some of the missions that I've uh, created episodes yeah. from. Yeah, well, the, the layout of these uh, is pretty half-assed, but we're just learning the principles here. Oh, okay. trust me. They'll put up a good defense. <laughs> F1 is back to my cockpit. Now let's go ahead and hit F10 and zoom out. So let's take a look and see our okay, our F sixteens are still taxiing. Mm hmm uh, And I'll tell you a little shortcut. Um if you click on any of the icons on the map, or at least the aviation related icons, and then press F two from that map screen, it uh -huh. will automatically go to whichever icon you have selected. Yep, did it. Oh, he's rolling. He's uh going down the runway. There we go. There he goes. Now, my radios aren't on, so I can't hear anything. So let's go back to my cockpit. If I turn on yep. my electrics, I should be able to hear them, right? Absolutely, yeah. If you turn on a power, you should be able to hear them. Okay. When they both take off, uh, they will say... Oh, there uh, he goes. Whatever their call sign is, which I think was Enfield. I don't think we changed the call sign. I can see them actually taking off. All right, what's the, what's the, the key for the power? Um, I don't know with the A-10. It might be right shift L. Right shift L. That's lights. Okay, well, maybe it's not that then. It was I, can, I can check on my end since I'm not right seeing shift. what you're seeing, so I can go to the okay. settings. Well, when, when, when you get the... Uh, okay, I see them taking off. Let me go to the map view. And... What the devil? Wait a second here. Who the hell is F? What do you mean F? F's are fighters. Okay, I got them. I, 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 I got air traffic. Um, okay, A10, A, a uh, power. Where the hell's the power plant? The power plant on my map is over by the lake. All, all the way. The Hang on. Uh, yeah, it's northeast of where the airport is. How do I move the map? Uh, well, you have it set to me, so you're going to oh, have to turn that off. Unta unset me. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Oh, there the targets are over here. For the A10A, the power switch should be right shift L. Uh, yes, I got power. I, I okay. can hear them. Okay, good, good. So I'm not going crazy. I'm not it? sure if these planes are flying the waypoints, though. Uh, right. Which way did they take off? Uh, they did not take off the right way. They, take off, they took off to the west or they to the east? They took off to the east. Okay, so then they're going to make a U-turn and go out to waypoint right, 1. That's what they're doing right now. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Um, in a situation like that, uh, just change the wind. Right. I just wish I just didn't make the wind strong enough is what it was. Yeah. All right, so they're flying to waypoint one. Uh, click on the, 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 the thing. Click F2. There he is right there. Yeah, so they should be getting in formation because remember that's the first thing we told them to do. Get into the finger force formation. Uh, okay, well, that's the front of that. You can always see well, the other guy's near him. The other guy is nowhere near him. Did he just take off? <laughs> no, he took off quite a while ago. Hang on a second. Okay. Well, they're going to catch up because that's their first order of business. They have to get into formation before they start hitting the waypoints. All right. Let's look at this guy here. F2. All right. That, I, I can see the airport in the background. I see the F-16. Um, I guess it's going to be a while before they get into formation. Um, that should be their first priority. It's taken a little bit, but yeah, they'll, they'll get together. 
Alright, and they have... Uh, they're gonna use... What weapons are they gonna use to take out these sites again? Mavericks? More than likely they're gonna use the Maverick missiles. Because they can lock on from a good distance with the Maverick missiles. Plus they're at 15,000 feet, so they'll have enough of a buffer between them and the SAMs once they pop up over that hill. Does DCS simulate harm? Yes, they do. There is an actual loadout that you can use that has harm missiles, um, but for some strange reason we didn't see it in the lineup that we selected for their loadout. But we could have customized one. Yeah, we could have customized it. But yeah, you can definitely add two harm missiles, AGM-88s, under their pylons, their inbound pylons. Okay, they're approaching way, way, uh, waypoint one. Okay. Um, all right, at this point, let's go ahead and uh, hit warp speed. So uh, how do I speed up the passage of time? Um, I believe it is, what is it, control Z? Yeah, it might be control Z. I know it's something to do with Z. It's not shift Z, it's control Z. Or maybe it's alt Z. Try control Z. Waypoint two at 3, okay, okay. The, the both reported in, passing the waypoints. Right. All right, so and remember, the waypoints are behind each other, so they're actually at waypoint one. Okay, let me see if they're in formation. If they're not, they're going to be close. Uh, yes, they are close. They're getting to formation. Alright, that works. Alright, so... Um, they're in formation. Alright, now you said Control z uh, increases the passage of time. Where is uh, the time clock on this thing? Uh, there it is, in the top right. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so Control z increases what decreases? Uh, shift z is what I use to put it back to the normal passage of time. Okay, here we go. Warp speed. Control z don't press it too many times. Control Z. Three times as fast. Control Z. Mm -hmm. Four times as fast. Control Z. Five times as fast. Control Z. Six times as fast. Control Z. Seven times as fast. Okay. Uh, they're and turning. And then Z to put it back to normal time. Okay. Control Z one more time. All right. All right. The minutes are passing by at roughly one-tenth of a second. So... At this rate, it's going to be about uh, several minutes. Maybe, let me see if I can guess. Remember, we also raised their speed halfway through that flight plan. So by the time they hit waypoint three, they're going to be going a little bit faster than they were when they hit waypoints one and two. Right. right. Same thing for waypoint four, because they got to climb up to 15,000 feet at that point. Right. 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 But when they say they're passing waypoint 5, that's waypoint 4 that we set for them. So at that point in time, the next thing that you hear should be them tallying targets and deciding to take the targets on. Now to view, so I toggle back and forth between F2 and F7 to mm -hmm. actually watch them take out the targets. Right. All right. Uh, One thing I should caution you on, when a target dies, you can no longer see them in F7. Got it. It skips over them. Right. All right, they're approaching the target in uh, the Lima Mike quadrant, so okay, they should so be turning north. Three. They should be turning north uh, pretty soon, mm -hmm. and then right at that river where I put the the next waypoint, it's that's when it starts its attack run. Right. So at that point, I can do Shift Z. Yeah, to put it back to normal time to and to just normal. watch them work. And watch them work. Okay. All right. Be advised, the moment they pop up. They're gonna have those Sams coming after them, so do not be too surprised if they preemptively decide to attack. Uh, yeah, it's been known to do that from time to time. In the real world, it wouldn't work that way, though, wouldn't it? I mean, in the real world, they'd have to confirm the target before they destroy it. Yeah, it depends on your rule of engagement, but this is DCS we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, both aircraft are turning north. Um, let me see, uh, altitude, what, we, we tell them to get up to what altitude, 4,500, that was uh, a pop-up, yeah. right? Yeah, which is 15,000. 15,000, okay, so shift Z. Map. Make sure you've got your threat circles on. You should see the little icons at the top that indicate, uh, the threat warning circle. New engagement circle. area? Yeah. Yes, I got them. Okay, they're in the ring. Okay. Shift Z. Once they get into that inner ring... That's going to be when the SAMs are going to start going after. SAMs on the map will look like little dots, basically. Little moving dots. All right. Shift Z. All right. They're back to normal. All right. So let's go ahead and hit F7. Uh, zoom in. Hey, you'll know if they're getting spotted because you'll see them launchers start moving. 
launches aren't doing anything yet. Good. That Our means station is still there. F two. Okay. We haven't heard anything out of them guys saying you know they're flying defensive or anything like that. So it looks like they're still good. They should be climbing to altitude. So you should right. see at the bottom. And then, uh, altitude. Tally Sam at Bullseye, 71 There you go. Okay, cool. They're getting ready to do their run. All right. And in theory, they fire first, or who, who want? They would fire first. Uh, there's a hill right there, so it's right after the hill is when they're going to start attacking. Yep. All right, they're approaching the hill. Well, the uh, first, the second, the first one is, and he's not going to clear that hill that much. One, defending Sam at bullseye. Okay, he's okay, popping he's, up. Yeah, the Sam's got him cracked now. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right. So hit F7. Up oh, there he goes. That Sam is raising his. Uh, no, that's the radar. That's the radar sight. Yep. That's okay. what's tracking them. Ooh! First one got taken out. Uh, the first aircraft or the no. first Sam? Infield one, kill Sam at bullseye zero seven. Ah, first there Sam is gone. There we go, our Falcon boys. Uh, there goes the job. second one. Yeah, those uh, guys don't play. All right, there's a third one <laughs> sitting here. He hasn't even raised this thing yet. There he goes. Oh, boom flower. Oh, the man's on the way out. <laughs> These guys do yeah. not joke. They don't play. And all that's left is a radar. Yep. Which, guess what it's going to do? <laughs> Spin around until you blow it the hell up. Oh, so that, that gives me a target to shoot at. Yeah, you've got Maverick missiles as well, remember? <laughs> so right, you just right. take out the rest of that crap. All right, so pa strike package one and two. They are on the way home. Let's go back to the main screen, and let's see if they are... Okay, what are you guys doing? They might be trying to see if they can take it out with guns. <laughs> the AI has been known to do that. Oh, it's going to try and attack that SAM target. Yeah. The, yeah, not the SAM, the, uh, the radar. Want, yeah, they want to kill everything. Everything, there. In, so it's going to come back around. Right, so until they actually run out of weapons or, you know, They're going to keep attacking it. They're going to right. attack Well, let's see what it does. So we oh. probably, in theory, should have given them an extra. Uh, Agent Sam North at Bull 071 for 70. Alright, let's see what they do. <laughs> Don't ask me how he's gonna kill that. Thing. Okay, he's coming down. <laughs> he's, he's coming down at it. And what is he doing? Is he gonna use guns? Probably. Yep, he used guns. <laughs> and that's it, it's gone. <laughs> that is DCS. Whoa, man, this thing doesn't mess around. Don't you tell those guys to kill it unless you specifically tell them to run out of this particular type of ammo. Table keep trying to kill it until they run out of this. <laughs> okay, there we go. And they should be RTV. F10. Well, and did you get yes, a message they, pop up that says that they were able to kill it? Uh, hang on. We, yeah, that trigger that we set. Um, okay, so that trigger did trigger. Uh, I, I don't recall seeing it. All right. Well, until you see that, that target is still live. Well, here, let's do this. F7. You can always check on the map. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. there's a target that's still there. Now, look on the map over where that target item is. Uh -huh. There should be a health bar on top of it in green. They're, they're turning around to make another pass. Okay. But they went all the way to the bottom of the lake to turn around. Dang. Well, yeah. They're F-16s. They need real estate, man. Wow. All right. Yes, there's a health bar there. Yeah. Right. Check that health bar to see how far down it is. Uh, it's all the way up. Okay, it so hasn't been hit yet. They're making a second pass. They're coming around now. Yeah, so they're going to try and hit that. Just watch that health bar. When that health bar finally disappears, which if they're attacking it with guns, this could take a while. All right, so let me go back to the uh, to the SAM site. It's, it's there circling around, and I'm going to go ahead and position myself at the SAM, mm -hmm. and I'm going to look around and see where the, the, good, the uh, F-16s are coming from. Infield 1. Oh, wow! Damn! <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Infield 1, kill Sam at 1, oh, 0, 7, 1, 70. Well, it got shot, but it's still spinning. 
Yeah, it's still spinning because they shot it with bullets. <laughs> it's not like they dropped a Maverick missile on it. Uh, I see what you're saying. So, so priorities, they took out the most dangerous threats to them first, which were the launchers, right. and they had the command bunker. But right. they left the radar because, well, what, what the hell's the radar going to do except spin around? All right. But they, okay, they should But they're still under orders. They're still, under, they're still under orders. So they're going to attack it. Now, are they smart enough to know the RTB if they're running low on fuel? Um, probably not. We didn't set that in there. So they will keep attacking it until one of three things happen. They run out of bullets, they run out of gas, or they just completely flake out, and, or they manage to kill it. Okay. Well, like I said, they shot it the first time, but it's still, it's still alive. So let's check, check the health map. bar. Yep. Uh, it's still alive. And where are the F-16s? They are... They're coming in from the north. <laughs> they're still coming in. They're going to continue to do that. All right. So it, they're, far, they're, they're coming in with bullets again. As far as troubleshooting something like that, if you want them to be able to take everything out on the first pass, should have given some bombs. Oh wow! They shot it again. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty dramatic, but obviously it's not doing crap. But give them an extra Maverick missile or a couple of extra Maverick missiles apiece between the two of them. They'll take it out. So in other words, when you're planning your mission, you need to match your ordnance with your uh, targets. Right, right. Now, remember, the reason why I told you to give them less is because I was also factoring you having a little bit of fun as well. Because remember, your Warthogs also have a couple of Mavericks apiece on them. So and it has that that's really your target that they're taking out. Right. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, now they haven't tried to attack the power station. They just went to the SAM site because that's going. what that's what we told them to. Yeah, we only told them to attack the SAM site. By default, uh, the DCS AI goes to only the designated targets. All right. If you told them completely weapons free and they had the munitions that they could use, they'd try to bomb that too. All right. Let's look at the map and let's see what's at the the health is still there, and they're coming around again. Okay, I got it's it. Of course. But yeah, at least you know that they're going to do their job, so as long as you remember how to do your job, that right. should be a mission you should easily be able to defeat. Right. And once I uh, power up and start get going, my wingman is just going to follow right along. Yeah, he'll do everything that you do. So when you start firing up your engines, uh -huh. uh, he's going to do the same thing. And actually, I would recommend use the radio and get clearance to do that, because that will actually trigger him to start up at the same time as you do. Otherwise, there's a little bit of a lag time before your wingman starts up. Then when we attack run, when we're on the attack run, I give him instructions to attack the target. Whatever. Yes, in that particular instance, you would tell him go mission and rejoin. Uh huh. So oh. that way he'll go to the mission target and then he'll come back. Right. They shot at it again and it's still spinning. I'm telling you, it's gonna be that way for a while until you give them an extra missile or you take it out yourself. Right. Yeah, they're gonna keep doing that. Got it. Okay. Man, we've been at this almost how long? Three hours now? <laughs> I am not surprised. It took me that long last night. But <laughs> suffice to say, you know how to put it all together. So once you yes. actually test it with yourself flying, um, I would challenge you to stack the cards against you. Give yourself enough Maverick missiles, give your Falcons enough Maverick missiles, and put some more SAM sites around there. Because uh -huh. I had 10 of these suckers last night, and between myself and the Seed Strike flight, we were able to take everything down and the power station. Right. So make it a little bit more challenging, make their skill a little bit higher, because remember they were set to average. Uh huh. Make it random, so that way you never know. Maybe the one SAM site is like an excellent in shot, one, and the other guy is a complete idiot. I'm going to shoot at it again. <laughs> yeah, he's going to keep doing that. <clears throat> the, other way, the other thing that you can do, if, they, if you just want them to leave some of the targets... Goes again. You can set an option... Remember where it says set option? Mm -hmm. You can set something that says if you are out of this particular type of weapon, RTB. Right. So you can set it for um, if you're out of missiles, go RTB. And right. then that way they'll stop doing that because literally they're going to stay there until somebody kills that thing. Well, in that case, um, let's, in that case, before I let you go, let's fine tune this. All right. So hit escape, hit quit. And, um, mission, uh, I want to go back to the mission editor, so hit 
I, it should automatically do that. So just get out of the uh, scoreboard. Uh huh. All right. So I'm back in the mission editor. All right. So right. we need to tell our uh, strike package that once you're out of, um, uh, essentially. Well, you need to decide what you want to do. Do you want them to take out all of the targets, and then you get the notification that all the targets are out? No, or... I'll tell you what. Let's give them more. Let's give them more bombs. Okay, so then go back to the loadout screen. Okay. Let me uh, click them on mine because that way I can see what you're doing as so well. To get the loadout screen, click on the first one. Yes, because uh, the first one will give them uh, four Mavericks apiece. Seed strike package. Okay, cool. So we have one or two, one of two F-16s. So what I need to do is go to the, uh, the ordinance page. window. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then how do I give them extra bombs? Just go well, to there's already a loadout for that. We selected the second loadout. Look right. at the first loadout. You'll notice it has a number two over where the Maverick missiles are. Uh, the first loadout says Maverick times four. That's what you want. All right. So we'll just go ahead and click that. Will that automatically take for both planes? No. You have to select the second one in the first box where it says unit one. Of two. All right. Just yeah, change one. that unit one to unit two. Okay. All right. Let's see what the second guy has as a loadout. Just uh -huh. change it to the first loadout. So now they will have enough missiles to be able to take all of that out. I hit file, save. Yeah. All right. So you're good to go. What I'm going to do is uh, tomorrow or whenever when I have some time, I'm going to go ahead and type up the mission. Give it a nice, you know, professional gloss with regards to the verbiage and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm, I haven't flown DCS in a while. I'm going to have to... Uh, I plan to fly a couple more FSX missions uh, for the Florida tour and a couple other things. Then I can swap out my yoke and uh, throttle quadrant for the uh, Cytec. Mm -hmm. And then after... <laughs> See, the thing is, when you go from one game to another or one aircraft to another, you have to <laughs> learn everything all over again. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. I have to deal with this every single day. It's so then I have to get back into the A-10, do one or two uh, flights to practice, and then I'll actually try and fly my own mission and see yep. what happens. And I will even give you a little bit of uh, homework, or if you would like, I can do the homework myself. I want to create a multiplayer thing, and once you actually figure this out, let's both do it. We'll yes. set ourselves up on uh, the same flights, mm -hmm. and we'll still have the same F-16s. We'll go in there, we'll create a few more SAM sites, because obviously we'll have a little bit more intelligence than the AI. Right. And we'll see if we can pull this off again. Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, in that case, I am good to go. All right, man. Thank you very much. Tell the audience good night. All righty, folks. This is Bell Geode signing off. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to this man's channel. And I will talk to you all later. Ciao. Thank you very much, man. We really appreciate it. We'll keep in touch.